So we we've landed the helicopter here, and we've come up here, set up camp, and then we went to go start a hunt. We got down to where we landed the helicopter, and then just over there, there is a river. And Joe spotted a deer, and it's like 100 meters from camp. So we we hunted along the river last night, which was pretty cool. Look at this. Last night I came down here. Ooh, look at that. Very nice. Oh, Fantail. That's not him making the noise. That's Hamish with his elk call. Um, oh, hello. I came and stood. I came and stood here, and just just down here. There are a bunch of fish that are about the size of my forearm swimming around. Maybe like four or five of them under the torchlight. Really cool. Hear them over there squeaking away. Is it okay? So this is the river wreck camp. Cool. There's tracks, tracks everywhere along here. Which is pretty cool. There's a lot of sign here and there's a lot of deer. Just coming out of the raw, which is cool. Who's this weirdo? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> traveling down then because this heats up there it goes amazing oh hello rack rack stop filming everything you guys <laughs> yeah that's real rich coming from you that's the richest coming I've ever heard you say mm. <laughs> you must be wealthy with that comment Well, the river is up. Wow, we can see all the river, the water going all the way down now. I wonder if those fish are still in there. Or not. They're yeah, filling up the water. So it's rained. So we don't want all obviously up in the mountains there. It's rained up there too. So all the water is gonna go into all of the creeks and stuff and then join into these creeks and then go into that river. But with that comes a lot of like leaves and dirt and just everything that is up there. So we're filling this up before more water comes down the river so it's cleaner now than it will be later the 
boys have gone to go get the meat from the deer and take some photos. I'm here applying soothe cream because I've been attacked by sand flies. They're so bad on the west coast. Generally, you'll have maybe two or three hundred hanging around you, on you, biting you. It really sucks. I had one bite me under the eye and one on the lip. Very annoying. I think I'm starting to build up my tolerance to sandfly bites though, which is really good because, yeah, apparently, yeah, you build up a bit of a tolerance to it because like when I first got bitten by them, the bites would last months and just be insanely itchy. So I'm glad I'm starting to get used to that because these things really suck and there are millions of them. I've never seen anything like it. Anyway, so the boys are getting that. They're getting stag. I am making noodles. Oh, sand fly. Pretty good. So hopefully tonight we're going to go head up the ridge up here to where we heard the stag. Um, we went up there yesterday and called all the way up this ridge. Didn't hear anything. Like for a couple of hours we were doing that. Then we thought, oh, we'll head back now. And then we went to just look over this one ridge and there's like a river that runs down and we well by when I say we called I mean the jo the Joes called because like, I can't I can't do a stag roll. Anyway, so they called and um then a huge stag well I don't know if it was a huge stag, it was a hu a huge sound. Um he roared back and he wasn't that don't know if he was far away or on the other side of the river or not. Couldn't really tell because everything echoes around a bit. But it was a big sound. Anyway, so we quickly got me set up over this like, little ditch thing. Ditch? Yeah, a little, a little ditch thing. And I arranged the distances and it was all around 23 metres. Pretty, pretty doable. And um, yeah, so I was all ready ready to, to draw back and um, you heard the stag getting further and further away. So what I didn't know, but I do now, if you call and there's a stag and he's got hinds with him, he's holding hinds which means he's, he's got the girls, um, you call, that stag will be like, oh my goodness, there's another stag in my, in my spot. He's gonna try and steal my girls. So he'll try and like herd his girls away from you so that you don't have an opportunity to steal the girls and um, so that's likely what he did and if there's a stag holding hinds likely there's a pretty good stag because he's had to fight off other stags to get them so he's a pretty good stag so that's exciting so hopefully we can get up there and make that happen later today maybe hopefully but yeah we'll see last night the rain got super heavy and then oh at some point in the night there was thunder and lightning and this big boom happened I'm like Joe what was that and he goes it might have been a slip falling down, falling down. anyway it wasn't it was thunder and lightning because it continued and we could see flashes and everything and oh it was loud and we're awake for hours heavy rain and now we've got everything out drying Clothes everywhere. Wet boots. The river's up quite high today. That, that sand bank that we could see on the first night is gone. That there is the rock that we were filling stuff up on. Because that, that's completely underwater now. It's crazy. And um, the water normally disappeared into the ground here and then all of that was all dry but uh it's definitely not dry now finally get a chance to dry things camp clothesline No zoom.
He was calling back to my release aid for, for like 20 minutes. And he must have sussed it. And, yeah, it was just after the bugs. Black Robin! No one is a black robin! A black robin! Is it? No, that's a fanta. That's not a fanta, it's a black robin. No, it's a fanta. But it looks like nothing. It looks really rare. A rare black fanta. Yep. Oh, I've made good friends with this guy. Have you? So there's the rare black fanta. And the normal guy that I've been talking with, my release aid. <gasps> Inspecting the river. A wild Joe in his natural habitat. <laughs> you got sand flies in your shirt. That's annoying. Second Joe appears, baring his teeth in a show of aggression, extreme aggression. <laughs> Look at him sanitizing his hands. Let's roll, eh? You ready? What just happened today, Joe? Well, <clears throat> we made our way here. We sat down on this nice view. I let out a roar. A stag roared back, just down here. I let out a couple more roars. Next thing you know, he's coming in to fight us. Roaring his way in. He ended up coming right here, 14 and a half meters away. Just there. Catherine was ready with her bow. She got to full draw four times, I think, at least three, but I think it might have been four times. Stag finally gave her a really good shot opportunity while she was at full draw. 14 and a half metres, let the arrow fly, good hit. Stag took off down the flats and disappeared into the bush. Pretty exciting. Man. I just shot my first deer. So, that's exciting. Yeah, I did that, then bald Myers out. And he, um, he was like, Meow! over here, and then he got really slow around here. He's just gone in the bush. Yeah, so we're going to give him, give him tonight, and we're going to head deer in the morning and track him down. <laughs> in the meantime, there's some more deer across here we're watching. It's quite cool. Yeah, I'm just watching them. They're pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Sleepless night tonight for me. The sand flies. Sand flies are after cups of tea. Wow. There's so many of them. Sounds like rain. Sand flies. There's like a gazillion of them. We've, um, we got a bit dripped on last night, so we've chucked the fly over here to dry out and let all the water escape. I've had a coffee, so I'm feeling absolutely psycho. Yeah, I, I don't really drink coffee because I go absolutely nuts. And all morning I've been like, blah, 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 and the boys are like, <laughs> yeah. So today we're going to go get my stag. I'm pretty excited. And then we're going to pack out all the meat and bring it back to camp. Oh, it's going to be good. I'm really excited about it. I hope he's uh, just gone like, I don't know, 50 metres into the bush and then and lay down and went to sleep. But um, we'll see. We shall see. Oh, maybe I didn't do this correctly. 
So a shot from there down to just on the other side of the end of that log there. And then he went and turned into the bush around the corner. Shot from over there, he ran through here and died right here. He ran like 250 meters. We're getting him ready for a picture now. I bowled my eyes out, obviously. This is my first deer, guys. I've been waiting for that, for that moment for years and years and years, and everything just played out perfectly. So. Sad to see the end of this week, isn't it? That's right. What do you reckon, guys? <laughs> Dream hunt scenario. Cool bananas. Last morning of the trip. Quite sad to see the end of this trip. It's been amazing. We've all loved like every part of it. So I don't want to leave. The main river. Joe shot his stag over there. Man, it's pretty, hey. Cabs packed up, so sad. At least we've got a fabulous singer serenading. Scooby <laughs> Doo <laughs> Doo Doo Oh, a tom tit. Oh, there's two of them. Did you hear it? Yeah. Joe, guess what? You know how oh, my, you know me, you know what it is. my green jacket was um, in the vestibule in the tent? Yeah. And um, when I got it out, there was literally a pool of water on top of it. And it just held the water there like a swimming pond. Right. Right. Yeah. Sadly, we are ready to go. Camp's gone. It's all fit into these bags. Hamish is down there waiting for the chopper. All by himself. Yeah, so we're very sad to see the end of this place. It's been an amazing trip. Hold your bits and bobs, people.